Good day everyone. Today we are going to discuss the third competency in fourth quarter. It is about angle of elevation and angle of depression. So before defining what is angle of elevation and angle of depression, let us know first what do we mean by line of sight. So a person's line of sight is the line from the observer's eye to the object. So again, a person's line of sight is the line, it is an imaginary line from the eye of the observer to the object being observed. Now, the angle of elevation is the angle between the line of sight and the horizontal if the object being observed is above the horizontal. You have here the word line of sight. We have already defined it earlier. Now, we have also here the horizontal. Now, if the line of sight is the imaginary line from the observer's eye to the object being observed, what do we mean by this horizontal? This horizontal, on the other hand, is the imaginary line again from the eye of the observer this is the eye level so eye level lang yung horizontal now let us have this illustration so in this illustration if you are going to notice here is our horizontal so suppose this is your eye level and this is your line of sight so again we have here the horizontal suppose this is the eye level and this is your line of sight this is from the eye of the observer papunta doon sa object being observed and the angle that we have created between the line of sight, again, the line what we have created between the line of sight and the horizontal, this is what we call here the angle of elevation. So, kailan lang ba nagkakaroon ng angle of elevation? If the object being observed is above the, the observer, of course. On the other hand, the angle of depression is the angle between the line of sight again and the horizontal if the object being observed is below the horizontal. Let us consider this figure. So this is your horizontal. This is our horizontal here. And then now this is our line of sight because the one being observed is below below the eye of the observer. So the angle formed here Yes, this angle is what we call the angle of depression. Now, let us determine the following illustration if it illustrates angle of elevation or angle of depression. So, this is the first one. Is angle A angle of elevation or angle of depression? Yes, this is angle of elevation. The second figure here is angle A angle of elevation or angle of depression. Take note that here is our horizontal, meaning to say our observer ay naandito sa ating plane at ang tinitingnan niya ay yung nasa baba. So, what kind of angle is angle A? Yes, that one is angle of, angle of depression. And then we have two angles here. What is angle A and what is angle B? So, angle A natin, considering na ang observer natin is looking at the top of the plug pole then angle A formed here is the angle of of elevation and then pag tumingin naman on the other hand sa bottom ng ating plug pole yung ating observer then the angle being formed our angle B is the angle of yes that is the angle of depression now let us have some problems that involves angle of elevation and angle of depression so this is our first problem from an airplane at an altitude of 1,200 meters, the angle of depression to a rock on the ground measures 28 degrees. Find the horizontal distance from the plane to the rock. Let me read again the problem. Try to understand. From an airplane to an altitude at an altitude of 1,200 meters, the angle of depression to a rock on the ground measures 28 degrees. Find the horizontal distance from the plane to the rock. If we are going to illustrate our problem here, so let us try to illustrate. Suppose this is your plane. Okay, suppose this is your plane and then from the plane, it is sighted a rock. So, meron tayong na sight na rock on the ground. Ano? Now, let us have 1,200 meters and 28 degrees. So, 1,200 is the altitude. When you say altitude, it means that is the, that is the height of the, 
of the airplane from the ground. And that is 1,200 meters. So this is 1,200 meters. And then the angle of depression, you have the word here, angle of depression, meaning to say the object being observed is below the observer. So ang observer natin is on the plane. So here is the horizontal. Let us draw the horizontal. This is the eye level of the of the observer and then this will be our line of sight so from the observer's eye papunta sa ating object being observed that is our line of sight and the angle being formed by the horizontal and the line of sight is given which is 28 degrees so ang hinahanap is the horizontal distance from the plane to the rock we have two distance here pwedeng yung distance ng airplane papunta sa rock dito or we have this distance and based on the problem we are looking here for the horizontal distance and this is our horizontal distance therefore this will be our x that is the unknown now if you are going to look at here what ratio you are going to use you have to know that the horizontal here, of course, horizontal yan. The ground also is horizontal. So they are parallel. Ano? The line of sight here now becomes a transversal. And if the line cut by the transversal are parallel, yung horizontal natin at saka yung ground natin, it means that if the angle of depression is 28 degrees, the angle being formed here on the other hand sa baba will be also 28 degrees. Why? Because these two are alternate interior angles. And since these are horizontal, it means alternate interior angles are congruent. Now, going back to my question earlier, if this is also 28 degrees, what ratio we are going to use here? Anong trigonometric ratio ang ating gagamitin? Let us see what ratio we are going to use here. Yes, we are going to use here tangent. We have tangent theta is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. Why? Because the given angle is here. The given is the altitude that is the opposite of the angle. And then the unknown is the adjacent side of the given angle. That's why we are going to use here tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. And then we are going to substitute. So we have now tangent, our theta or our angle is 28. So we have tangent 28 is equal to the opposite side is given, the altitude, which is 1,200 meters. And then the unknown is the horizontal distance that is represented by the variable x. Using cross multiplication, what do we have here? Yes, we will be having x tangent 28 is equal to 1,200. And since we are going to get x here, the equation should be 1,200 over we have here tangent 28. And then once again, using your calculator, dire diretso lang yan, pipindutin nyo, we have 1,200 divided by tangent 28. The value of x is approximately, let us round off to the nearest hundreds, then the answer will be, yes, that is 2,256.87 meters. So the horizontal distance between the plane and the rock is approximately 2,256.87 meters. So this is one example problem that involves angle of elevation and angle of depression. Now let us consider another problem. Let us have problem number two. So from the top of the control tower, which is 200 meter tall, a rock is sighted on the ground below. If the rock is 170 meters from the base of the tower, find the angle of depression of the rock from the top of the tower. So we, are, we have here a control tower. Let us first again illustrate our problem. So let us try to draw a control tower. So we have here a control tower. I am trying to illustrate a control tower. Pardon the illustration. <laughs> Okay, suppose this is your control tower. Ano, based on the problem, the control tower is actually 250 meters tall. And then a rock again is sighted here. So we have a rock sighted. And then 
the rock is 170 meters from the base. This is the base of the tower and this is the rock. And according to the problem, the distance or the rock is 170 meters from the base of the tower, which means that this is 170 meters. Ang tinatanong is the angle of depression of the rock from the top of the tower. Here is the top of the tower, considering the tower of server horizontal is here. So, sighted is the rock. This will be the line of sight. Ang tinatanong is the angle of depression. So, ito yung tinatanong, the angle of depression. Just like our problem earlier, ano, we have here horizontal, two horizontal lines. The line of sight becomes the transversal, which means that if we are looking for the angle of depression, it will have the same value as the angle here. So, pag nakuha natin yung angle dito, which means na yun din yung angle of depression. And then, looking at our problem or at our illustration, what trigonometric ratio we are going to use here? Yes, we are going to use tangent again. Ano? So, we have tangent, theta, is equal to opposite over adjacent. So, we have here tangent. Theta is unknown. So, let us write tangent theta is equal to opposite side of our theta is 250 meters. And then, the adjacent side, obviously, that is 170. Once again, if we are going to get the value of the angle, we will be having angle here, then magkakaroon tayo ng tangent inverse or arc tangent on the other side. So, tangent inverse, 250 over 170. How are, we going, how are you going to solve that using your calculator? Again, wala kayong tangent inverse na makikita agad dyan, no? So, you have to press first shift or second function, then press tangent so that ang makikita nyo sa calculator nyo is this one, which is tangent inverse. So, tangent inverse, 250 divided by 170 or 250 over 70, the uh, value of theta is, yes, we have here 57.78 degrees in decimal. Ano? But what if we are going to consider or write it into the, to the nearest minutes, then our answer will be, to the nearest minutes, it will become, Yes, it will become 55 degrees and 47 minutes. I hope you get it. Now, let us have the last and final example for this topic. So, we have a boy who is on the second floor of their house, watches his dog lying on the ground. The angle of depression is 32 degrees. If the boy is 3 meters above the ground, approximately how far is the dog from the house? I am going to repeat the problem. So, a boy who is on the second floor of their house watches his dog lying on the ground. The angle of depression is 32 degrees. If the boy is 3 meters above the ground, approximately how far is the dog from the house? So, let's have here our house. Okay. That is our house. Pardon, may illustration. So, that is our house. Mukha lang siyang arrow. <laughs> so, we have here the second floor. So, considering na andito sa ating bintana, ang ating observer, pinapanood ang kanyang aso. Now, nasa ng ating aso? Okay, yan. Suppose yan yung aso na pinapanood ng owner. Ano? Now, Based on the given, ano ba ang mga sinabi dito? The angle of depression is 32 degrees. So, this is the horizontal of the observer. This is the line of sight. And we have here 32 degrees. Another one is that the boy is 3 meters above the ground, which means that the distance here is 3 meters. Ang tinatanong is how far is the dog from the house? So, we are looking for this one. How far is the dog from the house? This is our unknown. Again, we have here horizontal, two horizontal lines. Ano? This line of sight will become the the transversal, which means if this one is 32 degrees, the theta here or the angle here measures also 32 degrees. To find the unknown, what ratio you are going to use? Again, we are going to use here tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. 
So we have here tangent, the given theta is 32 degrees. The opposite of 32 degrees is 3 meters. And then the adjacent side is the distance of the dog from the house. So let's have an x here. By cross multiplication, we have x tangent 32 is equal to 3. Then to solve for x, we have 3 over tangent 32. Using your calculator again, dire diretso lang yan, 3 over or 3 divided by tangent 32, our answer is approximately, yes, the dog is approximately 4.8 meter from the house. So this is how are you going to answer problems that involves angle of elevation and angle of depression. I hope everything is clear. Again, thank you for watching.